What's going on YouTube? My name is Lutetium Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive using Belena Etcher, which is a free tool that will allow you to create bootable USB drives for any distribution of Linux that you want. And I'm going to do it all in three minutes or less. Let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and navigate to etcher.belena.io. From here, we can click the green download Etcher button, which will take us to the bottom of the page. And we can locate the Etcher for Windows installer. From here, we can click the download button. This will then begin the download of Belena Etcher onto your computer. Once Etcher is downloaded, we can close our web browser and locate the Belena Etcher setup file. This will usually be in your downloads folder or wherever you decide to save it. From here, we can double click on the file to open up the license agreement. We can then press the I agree button, which will begin the installation of Belena Etcher onto our computer. Once Belena Etcher has been installed, we can open it through the shortcut that is created on our desktop, and it should automatically open once the install is finished. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the .iso image for the Linux distribution that you want to install, there will be in the little card in the top right, a playlist full of how to actually install the ISOs using a different tool called Rufus. In there, I show you how you can actually download this .iso image. So you can just follow it right up until I open Rufus. And from there, you can just switch to Etcher. And then from there, you can just follow this tutorial. So make sure if you haven't already installed the ISO to go watch those videos and then come right back and then flash it with Etcher. Once Etcher is open, we can drag and drop in the .iso file that we downloaded for our Linux installation onto the Etcher window. From here, it will then add that .iso into the file to be flashed. And from there, we can just double check that the device that's going to be flashed is our USB flash drive. If it's not, you can press the change button and locate the drive. And just one note before we click the flash button, this will completely wipe the drive and every file on it. So make sure that you've backed up the drive or I recommend just using a brand new drive that you're just going to use for Linux installations. And just make sure by hovering over that, that the drive that's going to be flashed is the drive that you're OK with erasing. Now from here, once we are sure that everything here is complete, we can press the flash button. Windows might ask you whether you want to allow Etcher to access system administrator privileges, and you're just going to click yes there so they can actually access the USB drive. And now it will begin flashing the image onto your USB stick. Once this process is completed, you will have a fully bootable USB stick for whatever distribution of Linux you want to be using. I hope this video helped you to flash a .iso image to a bootable USB stick using Belena Etcher. My name is Lutetium Tech. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video as it really helps me to keep doing what I love, which is making these awesome videos for you guys. My name is Lutetium Tech. Thanks for watching.